this is proof I want to get this because I left them several messages and they ignored my calls they know darn right well who I am okay um, I highly doubt they do freaking uh, POAs like you know they know who I am all right so So I hung up on him because he friggin, uh, I called, I left a bunch of messages. He knows friggin darn right well who I am. And, uh, he knows what they've been doing because the friggin, uh, corrupt state of New Jersey and corrupt court staff in this corrupt fucking Red Roof Hotel have been defrauding me and slander my name to my son and making it like I'm upset for no reason and sabotaging me getting medical care so that they can take advantage of me and defraud me out of stuff, okay? So I'm posting this because this guy knew what that trust was and he conned and deceived and took advantage of me. And during that time that he did that, I was going to Princeton House who overdrugged me is the only way I can say it. They overdrugged me. They had me on so many friggin' medications, it's not even funny. They fucking overdrugged me. Um, I never took anything other than friggin' Tylenol my entire life. That's all I ever took, right? Or ibuprofen. And I was taking Celebrex and ibuprofen, which the doctor, uh, F up, overprescribed Celebrex and ibuprofen at the same time. Celebrex has uh, NSAIDs in it. So he should have known as a pain management doctor not to do that. He overprescribed them. The kidney doctor said he overprescribed them. That's not my words. That's a kidney doctor's words. And that damaged my kidneys. And from that point on, I couldn't take NSAIDs. And that really worked for me. So I couldn't take it anymore. All right. Because it damaged my kidneys. As long as you don't take it, you'll be okay. Right? So this guy calls. And I know they were taking advantage of me. Because I had a complaint against the Medford cops. And unbeknownst to me, that, that it's like a whole thing. It's all connected. New Jersey State Police detective in charge of victim services told me I should, quote, unquote, go for therapy. He was, quote, unquote, helping me as he was taking advantage of me, re-victimizing me. So a therapist they sent me to, Providence House, had the chart and the, the reports that they knew they lied in my chart, but I didn't know. I thought it odd that when they sent the letter to, you know, the, whoever, I can't remember who they sent it to, but they only sent my um, report regarding my son. Like, they didn't they only sent the charge. They didn't send a report showing that I actually had a serious head injury. It wasn't treated. So it's like all retrospect. So that so he tells me to go there. Well, unbeknownst to me, I found out in 2015 that those friggin' that the person I was going to therapist works with those cops, right? And guess who worked there? The freaking detective. My ex that choked me saying my head. Well, his detective, right? So this bitch wasn't helping me. Her name was Michelle. And she says her whole job was to help me low, know how to um, assert myself and not get taken advantage of by people. Like not get into another abusive relationship and how to recognize that they're trying to take advantage of me. And a freaking cop's taking advantage of me. And she says after he does that, oh, I knew he was going to try and date you. What? Are you kidding me? She knew and she didn't say anything. And she worked with those cops in Gloucester County, right? So they were harassing me from the moment I sent that letter to that guy. He called me as soon as he got that letter. He fucking called me. This is why I curse. He fucking called me. And the letter said, do not contact me again. <laughs> don't comment on my bra size. I don't want to marry you. Like, it's not funny. Okay, I never called him by anything other than his title, which he did not deserve that respect. So... You know, he, he calls me and, and then, oh, and then when he gets the letter to fucking uh, New Jersey State Police coming, like the fucking SWAT team, you know, like fucking all these fucking detective cars banging on my door like they've been doing here and at the fucking apartment and at Cedars and scared shit out of me. And Michelle knew why they were doing it. She's a fucking scumbag. She's the one that told me to send that letter. All I wanted was for that cop to leave me alone. She was the one that was supposed to be, you know, helping and giving me the tools I needed to like assert myself well you can't assert yourself with a fucking cop that's going rogue and fucking taking advantage of you he's got a gun okay the day he got the letter they fucked with the door on my fucking um uh, um house right and then they were going back and forth fucking harassing me new jersey fucking dot fucking uh the med for cops the fucking fire department they were fucking just literally it's a small street mill street small street they were going back and forth back and forth back fucking harassing me anybody came to see me they fucking harassed so nobody came to see me anymore right 
So this fucking, they were harassing me, like just, and harassing my son. Like harassed, that the fucking sheriff's officer was a black guy with a white wife. Well, I happen to know that that fucking black cop kept commenting he, that fact that I was white and he wanted those white guys know the black guy and blah, blah, blah. And I wasn't with him, not because he was black, but because he's a dirtbag. Okay, he's worse than my exes. He said he was going to tell my exes I was his. He knows as a fucking victim services uh, cop that uttering those words to my exes, even though I wasn't theirs, that, that will put my safety at risk. And who the fuck does he think he is? I'm not a fucking piece of property, right? So he says that... Um, and so, like I said, the cop was at the other end of the fucking um, Cedars, right? And every time my stuff got stolen, this is how fucked up I was. I fucking didn't even occur to me because I fucking believe these fucking authority figures. I had that much trust for them. Every time they stole my stuff, they'd go down to the other fucking end, talking to that cop probably because he knew who was stealing it. And there was a fucking woman in per work for parole office. And that would be my ex other one. Okay, so they'd go down to that end. He had a white wife and they'd fucking get my property back. Well, you shouldn't have been fucking stealing it to begin with, right? So... All this stuff's happening, and my son is in high school, and they've been bad-mouthing me to him the whole time. Those fucking...